First of all, as a disclaimer, I want to make one thing clear. And that is I am not the one who came up with this theory first. This theory is talked about by Euron and maybe even someone before him, but the evidences and some of the connections that I am going to provide is my own. In chapter 1004, we saw a mysterious figure that healed the scabbards. Who was it? Toki or Hiyori? Or even Enel? I was just joking. It's been some time since that chapter came out. Toki doesn't have healing powers unless she has mastered her double fruit in such a way. But the more obvious one would be Hiyori since we know she's alive. How did Hiyori heal the scabbards? Maybe it's a normal healing method, but they healed too quickly. This is where the theory comes in. According to some myths, peacock feathers are used by many shamans to heal certain wounds. The peacock feathers are often placed over or bound around the wound, which is believed to be then channel out the negative energy, poison or infection. So Hiyori having a mythical peacock fruit could explain why she was able to heal the scabbards. But the idea of Hiyori having a peacock double fruit is actually inspired from Hiyori's kimono when she was Komura Saki, which has peacock design on it. I just connected this to chapter 1004. Now the other interesting point I have found is, in many cultures the peacock is also compared very closely to the phoenix, mainly due to the fact that they are both extremely confident and provide courage to take something from the past and learn from it. The peacock is associated with rebirth and resurrection, as is the phoenix who was risen from death and reborn again. The peacock is a perfect reminder that you can rise again no matter what you have been through. This does tie in beautifully with what Hiyori has gone through. And this could actually mean Hiyori is the pheasant and not Marco, because Marco doesn't have big connection to Yamato or Momo. Do I think Yuri will go and fight Kaido to fulfill Momotaro? No. Maybe she interacts with him or either Orochi. But she has a big part to play in this war that's what I believe. Maybe I'm reaching? But I guess this is a cool theory. Please comment down below what you think of it. Also please